BoatersOutlet.com. Today I was going to go over the difference between a wakeboard line and the standard water ski rope. In a water ski rope, what happens when you're skiing is you're taking them out, you're taking your turn out wide on a solemn ski, and this rope's going to pull nice and tight. And then when you make that turn, it's going to kind of slingshot you in and kind of slingshot you around your turns. And that's kind of what you want when you're water skiing. You want that a little bit of stretch in the rope to kind of pull you through your turns. Um, and then again, something common on the water ski rope is you've got a real short handle like this. Because when you're slalom skiing or water skiing, you're just using you two hands and most of the time you're dropping a hand to make that turn so you don't need a big long handle. The reason you'd want a bigger handle on a wakeboard line is because you're constantly passing the handle behind your back when you're trying to land those spins and learn your tricks. And trust me, it's a lot easier with the bigger handle to try and learn those types of tricks. The biggest difference you have between a water ski rope and a wakeboard line is the actual main line itself. Generally, they're made of a Dyneema or a Spectra line, which is made to have zero stretch to them. So you want that, that zero stretch, so when you're edging into the wake, you hit the wake, get a good constant pull through the air and through the landing, um, and you get that good constant pull throughout your whole ride, and it just makes it a lot funner. So if you were on a water ski rope, and you hit that weight, you're edging in, putting all your weight back on the rope, you hit the weight, the water ski rope will tend to pull you forward, kind of slingshot you around when you don't want to be. So check them out, we've got a bunch of different styles of water ski ropes and wakeboard lines on our website at boatersoutlet.com.